Hello and welcome back. It's time to understand how we can delete an element from a heap. Now when we delete an element from a heap, it's always the root element that gets deleted. So if it is a max heap, we always get the largest number from the heap on deletion. And if it is a min heap, we always get the minimum number or smallest number from the heap after the deletion. Now when we delete a max heap, we, as I said, we delete the root element and we get the largest number. So when we delete a max heap to get the largest number from the root, uh, it happens in that way, the next largest number, the second largest number actually occupies the root immediately after the deletion. So when we consider the delete operation, we need to actually do some mechanisms so that the second largest number occupies the root. So on subsequent deletion, always we are going to get the next largest number from the heap. And for min heap, if we delete the root, uh, we need to do some mechanism so that the second smallest number occupies the root. So I'll be giving you the example how to delete a heap using a max heap. So here you can see that on the screen we have a max heap and 90 is the largest number and that is there at the root. So if we delete this 90 from the heap, that means if we delete that content of root, then physically the root is not deleted. Only we take out the content from the root that is 90 will be taken out of the root and we may consider a variable a temporary one say item and we'll keep that content of the root in this variable then what we do we actually delete the last node from the heap that means this one and we take the content of the last node of the heap and we actually copy that to the root element so it happens in this way we physically do not delete the root node. What we do, we copy the content of the last node here in the heap, here in the heap root. And then we physically delete the last node. Now it is easier to delete the last node because it's a leaf. And since we practically represent the heap in one dimensional array, so the last node is actually the last element of the array. So if we reduce the total number of elements by one, uh, practically we are deleting one element from the array. So practically it's going to be in this way that we are just going to reduce the total number of elements uh, in the array by one and that will physically delete the last node. So we are not physically deleting the root node, we are taking out the content of the root node and we are physically going to delete the last node just by reducing the total number of elements in the array. Now what happens immediately after copying the content of the last node into the root, we find that the heap is not any more heap, right? Because we have this 80 as the left child of that root which is larger than that 45 and the 65 is also larger than that 45. So you can see that a heap is maintained here. This subtree of course is a heap and this subtree is also is a heap but heap is not maintained here at index i equals 1. We need to run a mechanism or perform some logical steps so that the heap is restored at i equals 1 and this particular procedure is known as adjust operation. In some other books uh, they say that it's restore heap up operation. So let me show you how the heap can be restored. So in order to restore the heap, we find the left and the right child of this i, right? Now if i equals 1, the left child can be found at 2 times i, that's at 2. So this is the left child of that root and this is the right child, 2i plus 1. So that's 3. Now we'll compare among these two children, 80 versus 65. The larger one is 80. Now we are going to compare 80 with 45. Now 80 is larger. So what we are going to do, we are going to copy 80 to the root. We'll take this 45 in a temporary variable temp and we are practically looking for the position or the node where we are going to keep that 45 right in this restore down operation. So we find that amongst these two siblings 80 and 65 80 is larger and we are comparing 80 with 45 and 80 is still larger so we are going to copy that 80 to 45. So here we go delete that 45 and copy that 80 to the root. Now again we are going to find the left and right child of that 80. So the left child of 80 is this one and right child of 80 is this one. So i was earlier at 1, now this is going to be 2. We'll update that i. So now the left child of i is 2 times i, that's 2 times 2, that's 4 and this is 5, right? We'll compare among these two 50 and 70. We find that 70 is larger, 
and we are going to compare 70 with 45 and 70 is still larger so we are going to copy that 70 to the to the ith index that means uh, where 80 is right now so here we go now since 70 has been copied to index 2 we are going to update this i we have copied the content of 5 so i goes here now i is 5 right now so now we are going to find the left child of i and left child of i this times is 5 times 2 is 10 and we see that there are 9 elements altogether. So we do not have the left child of that i. So we have found the position for 45. So 45 is going to be copied here at index 5. And now we are ready to return this value to the caller, right? So you see that that's how we are actually deleting the root element of the max heap. Now in the in case of min heap, the thing is that only we are going to find the smallest number. Here we are finding the largest number. Everything is going to remain same. So let me do one more deletion so that you are conversant with this logic. So this time we have 80 in the root. So we take out that 80 in this variable item and i is 1. And we need to copy the last element, this time 25, into the root. So here we go. Delete 80. Take that 25 to the root. And we are going to reduce the total number of elements by 1. That's practically actually deleting the index 9 from the hip tree. So here we go. We are deleting this index 9. Again, let me repeat, practically we will be actually redu reducing the total number of elements of the array by 1. And that will uh, have the total number of elements of the array right now as 8. And that will practically delete the last element, right? So now this time, this index i equals 1 is not maintaining the heap because we find that 70 and 65 they are larger than this 25 and we need to actually do the adjust operation uh, or the restore down operation for the heap so we find that the left child of i is actually 2i that's this one and we can take any variable j as 2i so j is the left child of i and that's 70 and the sibling of this is j plus 1 and among these two siblings, 70 is larger and 70 is larger than 25. So what we are going to do, we are going to copy that 70 to 25. And 25 is our current element for which we are seeking the position. So we'll copy that 70 to the root because it is the second largest element, right? After 80. Now the left child of this j is actually going to become j right now. That's 2 times j. And the right child is this one, j plus 1. And among this 50 and 45, 50 is larger. Is 50 greater than 25? Yes, it is. So copy 50 to the jth index. That means at index 2. So we copy 50 here. And we update that j to the left child. That means j is right now 4. And 2 times j is going to be 8. So j is 8 this time. And we see that. We do not have any sibling for j because j is 8. Um, if there is any sibling, then the index of the sibling would be 8 plus 1. That's j plus 1, 9. But we see that total number of elements are actually 8. So no sibling for j is there. And we are going to compare this content 20 of the current index j with 25. Is 20 larger than 25? No, it is not. So we are going to copy this 25 at the parent of j that means j divided by 2 and j divided by 2 right now is this index 4 so we are going to actually copy that 25 at index 4 we found a place for 25 and here we go okay so we are done we are done finding a position for the 25 and we see that the heap is restored and the next largest element occupies occupies the root of the heap you can see that right so just take your pen and paper and just do that drill once more so that you are conversant so in the next tutorial we are going to develop the algorithm for this more formally thank you for watching